Aubrey. Hey, that's right. So many say there needs to be much more enforcement when it comes to the homeless population out here. People we spoke with say the homeless right now are way too aggressive, demanding money, and it's impacting business too. And they're not too sure how much more they can take. I see people urinating all the time, and they're just, it's, it's just, they don't care. Those are some of Ken Karen's issues with the homeless population in the quarter. He's the president of the Vucare Property Group. They're defecating on the street, quite honestly, in, in somebody's alleyway that to their door. And I've seen that, and I've had to clean it up myself a number of times, and it's disgusting. Donna Costanza owns a jewelry shop in the quarter. It's the same people that come out every day. She says homeless people constantly sleep in front of her business, which deters customers and cuts into sales. Like this morning, I saw the lady in the next block. She was opening up. The guy is sleeping in her doorway. She had to wake him up ask them to move and sometimes they don't want to move. Peter Wainick is homeless. I'm trying to get on my feet nowadays. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to do my art. I'm trying to sell my art, trying to do music. And I can't really do that with, uh, with the resources I have currently. Wainick is saving for a place to stay and says there needs to be more housing options. My main thing is I would really like to have a place. I wish that there was more housing programs. And while the city says they are working to tackle the issue, they say they can't arrest people for sleeping on sidewalks as they say it's not illegal to be homeless. It's not illegal to be homeless. I think if we um, look at the quality of life issues and we enforce that, whether it's uh, blocking a sidewalk or um, you know, things like that. I mean, you know, if business, if they're being blocked. And when it comes to panhandlers, the city says they can also only do so much due to First Amendment rights. They do say, city says that they do multiple sweeps and work to get homeless people into shelters. If you'd like to read that full statement from the city, head to the WDSU mobile app. Reporting live in the quarter, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.